This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Now, a week or so ago, I did the most despicable game, uh, game companies on the face of God's earth. But today is something that I'm really going to enjoy because we're going to talk about uh, game companies that I really think shined this year. And we'll talk a little bit about all of them. And we don't, you know, we don't want to, um, you know, you know, we don't want to pump them up too much, you know, and, 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 and blow smoke up their back ends too much, you know, because they might get big hits. But uh, anyways, we'll talk about some independent people. Um, uh, you know, why don't we just start with uh, Raybox and what they've been able to do. Uh, Raybox Games, Escape from Stalingrad Z. I thought this was very well done for a small company. Miniatures, everything. Uh, matter of fact, I painted up a whole bunch. And hopefully you've seen the playthrough by, by then, um, uh, by the time this video comes out, of what I did with the game. And I'm looking forward to some of the other stuff that they come out with uh, because I think they are a fantastic company. We can't forget about uh, the people that did uh, Paracle uh, Gathering Darkness, a little indie company that has made uh, basically, uh, by the time you see this, I, it's it, in one of my top games. Uh, I don't know if you would see from 10 to 1 by now, but uh, they are in the top 10 games of the year. Another company that's had a great year is Restoration Games with, with anything that they touched. Thunder Road Vendetta I thought was fantastic. I, I have it back there so I was taking a look. Um, Arcade Wonders. Uh, Robert, how he's turned this company completely around. They've always done good games, but Robert with, with, with the Call of Duty uh, Kickstarter or Game Found, I, I forgot which one it was on, uh, the gameplay, you can take a look at the video that I did uh, that I taped of Robert and I playing the game uh, at Dice Tower Con this year. It is something special. And all the other games that he's come out with, uh, some of them I've got to catch up and do some reviews on that are just absolutely fantastic. These are in no order. These are all just, just talking about companies that had outstanding years this year. Stonemeyer Games. Uh what can we say expeditions uh apiary uh which is bees in space work replacement game count me in uh anything this guy touches turns to gold uh you know wingspan and all the other wonderful things scythe and, and stuff like that some of the top games of all time and jamie is just a brilliant wonderful wonderful man um kind-hearted uh, uh very positive um, somebody that is just just a fantastic person on top of it. I hope one day that we get to meet um, this disease and, and how sick I've been has prevented that. And it's something I'm very disappointed in because this is a man I want to shake hands with. Um, GMT. Gene, you beautiful son of a bitch. Uh, how many games did GMT put out this year? A, a lot. A lot uh, from from the Russian front to 18 India mr. president prime minister um, just just a never-ending just tons of just fantastic experiences this is a company that does it right their quality their production they are about as professional as a company can be and fantastic at what they do um, Simon, my friends over at Simon, what a banner year they had, okay? Uh, the Western version of uh, Zombicide, Marvel Zombies finally in everybody's hands. That Galactus, that three foot Galactus is just massive and awesome. I mean, how can you not talk about that? The Scooby Doo games, the uh, Hanna Barbera stuff, the Teen Titan stuff, just consistently putting out good quality. And, and I played all of it, and I love all of it. Uh, and they've done an unbelievable, fantastic job. Flying Frog Games, another great year with, with, with finally getting uh, um, Shadows of Brimstone Adventures out. 
which gives a whole new twist to this fantastic experience. This is a game that is a story that never seems to end. That that if you played it, and you know from from one end to the other end, uh, does it ever end? No, probably not, because the stories of your characters. That's what it's about. Is taking them. It's never the same story, and the things that it does, and it's just fantastic. And how can we forget our very good friends at Chip Theory Games, one of the best companies out there in the world. They just don't get it wrong. The surprise to me was was 20 strong, but I shouldn't be surprised because anything that they touch turns to gold. Uh, the redone of, of uh, Hoplomachus, remastered. You know, you took a game that I loved and you made me love it more? Oh, Ridiculous. Um, too Many Bones with, with their game that they came out with uh, an, another fantastic game um, uh, Hoplomachus Victorium uh, another great one uh, a, a, a twist on, 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 on the game itself and just taking it to another level this is a company that has no ends and now they're doing Skyrim Ugh. I mean what do you expect nothing but greatness because that's who they are. That's what they do. That's how they do things. One of the best companies in the world, without, without question. And there are just so many honorable mentions. Uh, Tiny Battles or uh, Flying Pig Games um, for uh, getting out late, late this year. Um, Black Horse, which uh, I, I really enjoyed. Is it Black Horse? I'm pretty sure it's Black Horse. I don't want to misquote myself. Um, the company that did Arceus, uh, the, the people that do uh, Tales from the, the Red Dragon Inn. You know, the, the, there have been so many great companies that have raised their game. Uh, Elzera with Monster Pit, okay? And their continuation with uh, a, a game that we're going to be taking a look at in about a week or two. Uh, uh, a Kickstarter that is coming soon, Battlefields which we're going to be talking about. And of course, me finally getting to play Catacombs. And what a fantastic experience that was. Okay. Um, another great company of great people putting out great products. I mean, what more could you want? This has been a banner year with companies raising their game. You know, you've, I figured that they would be hurting coming out of it. And some of them are coming out of, of what's been a very tough couple of years. But some have just decided that they are going to concentrate and really put out the best that they can. If, if, if some of them are going to go down, they're going to go down swinging. And they have come out and swung. And, and as always, the cream has rise to the top. The people that care about this industry really put their heart into it. And this is just some of the great companies that I've experienced that I think have just outshined a lot of other ones. I'm not saying that the other ones did badly, but I wanted to give a tip of my hat to some of the companies that have made some things that I've been absolutely blown away with. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this list. Maybe there's some companies I forgot, but which is more than likely, oh God, how can I forget Portal Games? Ignacy with 11. God, shame on me. Okay. Shame on me. I, I, I would See, I knew I would forget somebody because I tried to do this stuff from the top of my head. But another great company. But as always, you know, go out and support these companies. They've worked hard to earn your trust. And they have earned it. Unlike last week, they've earned it to lose your trust. So, until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody. <laughs>